What's up, y'all? Got a banger from mankind. Let's get straight into it. You like to play the feel, huh? This sick right here. Let me tell Let's see you. if she can break what here. He took me home from okay. the Foreman's Whiskey Tavern about two months ago. I don't drink, so yeah, I would so never I be there. Up. Yeah, that's right. You do drink. I um, don't drink. Can I see drink? the pregnancy test? Yeah, it's right there. I just threw it. So now he's oh. trying to get out of my That's life what she threw. And not be involved in this baby situation. Is that your deadbeat? What do you have to say to that? And here we go. Does um, she look familiar to you? Uh, no, 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 no. She's a pretty girl. No. Y'all would have a pretty baby. Oh, you were. Wait, which corner are you on? Balls. I was on the right. <laughs> I said, which corner do you work on? Right corner. I do know her. Yeah, I paid. How her. much was it? Three <laughs> hundred? No. How much is it for like with or without a? I had a coupon. I gave her a subway coupon and a high five, and she was down for whatever. What? <laughs> a subway coupon and a high five. Oh man, uh... that's crazy work. Damn. I love gay people and black people, and Asian people, and Native American people. And Pacific Middle Islanders. Eastern. Well, Pacific Islanders. I love Middle Eastern people. So Indian this is people. no particular order. No, I rank. I rank. I okay. love black people more than anybody else. What's well, second? Ah, that's tougher to say, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's tougher to say, isn't it? You know what? Your mouth kind of reminds me of like a person from Whoville that's because fine. you like lip. Why? Why even bring that up? Is not there. Yeah, and you're ugly. Well, I can't like, help that. No, no, you can't. It's just like who body shaming's ass. fine till it's all about the weight, right? Well, big back, big back. Cooker. Well, well, well. How the turntables? Goodness, here come the comments. <sighs> well, they can dish it, but they can't take it, man. You win three fifty. I bet you a big Popeye chicken eat motherfucker, ain't you? Boom, roasted. <laughs> what does it burn? <laughs> That's what I don't get. Women are so okay shaming men for anything. Their height, their hair, their foreheads. For me, it's the forehead, you know, lazy eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll, they'll clown you for anything, but as soon as you clown them for being a big back, big back, big back, that's when it's a problem. It's like, is that the equality you guys want? That if you roast us, we can roast you back? I think, I think that's fair equality. What do you think, chat? Pizza, a pregnant woman, and a frozen beer all have in common. What does a burnt pizza, uh, pregnant frozen woman beer. and a frozen beer have in common? Woman. I don't know. But some idiot forgot to pull it out in time. Shots <laughs> 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 fired! <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's cooked. Okay, I got admit that was humorous. Fam, what's the wildest place you've massacred it in? Reply, turn around! <laughs> Turn around. That's jokes. <laughs> That's jokes. <laughs> That's good. Facts, I'm turning around. Turn around. Facts, I'm turning the fuck around. Oh, scare me. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. If you keep running like that, you're going to slip and fuck. I did my duty as a grandmother goals. I'm going to break your penis off. <laughs> <laughs> I did my duty as a grandmother <laughs> I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries, from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases, which is why I want to talk about Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they've won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they're going to fight for the money that you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for $12 million and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is, it's all free unless you win your case. Now, if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi, found in the description below, where you can start your free claim today. Bro, I don't know about y'all, but my grandma, dude, she was such a savage. She would shoot it so straight, bro. I don't know about y'all, but like, it seems like the older people get, the more they just give a, give a damn. It's like... You know, my grandma, by the time she was old, like old, old, like in her 80s, bro, she did not care what nobody thought. It's like all cream. It's 
that even coffee at that point? <laughs> bro, bro did not. Bro did not just. What in the H E double hockey sticks was that? Loki, does somebody want some beef jerky? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. What was that? What? First day of teaching preschool. So excited. Let's see what we got here. Me registering myself back to school. For real, though. Back to back school. To school. Doesn't even make sense, really. The women don't care about what it takes to build you up to that point. There's a lot of work that goes into that. There's a lot of sleepless nights, all nighters. Like Brad's like getting flashbacks right now. I see it in his eyes. <laughs> he's, he's getting PTSD of like the years yeah. and years of hard work. Women never really appreciate that, but men can understand that because men know what it takes to get to that point. <laughs> I can't argue with it. It's that's, basically that's a um, fact. He's so right, dude. So many sleepless nights. So many sleepless nights. So many things you have to work so hard for. Like, and it's it's. At least for me, it's always been fun working on things that you enjoy, you know, like this this whole YouTube channel and content creation. But there there turns a point where eventually it gets to the point where it feels like a job. Like now I have so many things coming at me. That sounded really bad. <laughs> <laughs> so many things coming at me. Um, but now I've got a lot of things going. Now that the YouTube is picked up and we're getting more views, I have more brand deals reaching out to me, more people wanting to run ads on my page and things like that. So it's like... Now it has become a full-time job. Um, so it gets to a certain point where you're like, man, I'm, I'm glad all this work finally picked up and got to this point, but um, it does it does start to get really stressful eventually. What are you thinking about, Jerry? Marriage? Family? Well, they're yeah. prisons. <laughs> Man-made prisons. You're doing time. He ain't lying. You get up in the morning, she's there. You go to sleep at night, she's there. It's like you got to ask permission to, to, to use the bathroom. Is it all right if I use the bathroom? Yeah. yeah, and you can forget about watching TV while you're eating. This is bullshit. I can? Oh, yeah. You know what? Because it's dinner time. And you know what you do at dinner? What? You talk about your day. <laughs> How was your day today? Did you have a good day today or a bad day today? Well, what kind of day was it? Well, I don't know. How about you? How was your day? Bro, that's why it's important. Picking your partner is one of the most important decisions that you'll ever make, bro. You got to pick somebody that you can laugh with, clown with. Like Cass and I, we be roasting each other, bro. Like we be, we be treating each other like homies. Um, Cass actually reminds me of one of my really good homies as far as like the way we roast each other and go back and forth. Like it's absolutely hilarious, but you got to have that. In my opinion, you got to have that in a relationship. Cause if you don't, it's just going to get stale. It's going to get boring. You know what I mean? Like you can't just always be nice to each other. I think being a little mean sometimes and picking on each other's healthy chat. Let me know. Do you agree? Do you think sometimes like picking on each other and things like that is healthy in a relationship? I personally, I think it is because as men, we do that. It's a sign of endearment when we pick on each other, we roast each other. Cause I don't know about you guys, but the guys I'm the closest to, I give the hardest time. I give the absolute, the hardest time. See why men are not dating women no more. I see it. I wouldn't think y'all either. Y'all just show up like I deserve. Y'all deserve to go sit down. Y'all deserve that barbecue stand. <laughs> I like this one. Y'all deserve that fucking Barbie. I mean, she's right. Well, women think that the only value you need to bring in a relationship is is sexual these days. It's like, well, I brought my body. And that's all you guys need, right? It's like, no, 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 no. Your looks is what gets our attention. Your personality is what keeps our attention. And your character is what makes us fall in love with you. Like, there's a whole lot of things to this puzzle. And a lot of you ladies is missing a lot of the pieces. Men can walk around the streets without a shirt on. I think women should have every right to do so. There's Free the nipple. Hey, in Austin, Texas, they have. You can walk around with your titties out. It's crazy work. Honestly, no difference. It is just a set of nipples. Agree. <laughs> it's the biggest gavel I've ever seen. Agree. We support you 100%. We think more women should be like you. As a matter of fact, I think I love you. Every man agrees with you. We support you. Go for it. Yeah, go for it, honey. Do your thing. 
do in your Berlin thing. can now swim topless in public, just as men can. Good man. Uh, no, I don't. I don't even have a driver's license. You ever been to Germany? Women's sports are. <laughs> you ever been to Germany? It's the first trip I'm taking with cats. <laughs> If I'm really thinking we should go to a water park in Berlin. But now when you go when you go walk down um Austin 6th Street where women can do that and they can walk topless, it's always the ones that you wouldn't want walking around topless. <laughs> Women's sports are highly competitive. Let's see here. They're highly competitive, often can compete with men at the same level and win. Oh really? Is that what you think? <laughs> My God, uh, I'm sorry, but it, it just doesn't work like that, bro. And see what happens. Hey, thanks for watching. Just it doesn't work like that, bro. Female sports, it just doesn't work. Man. It, it, that's why you don't see women in the MLB. You don't see women on the crazy like SEAL Team Six and stuff like. Like you don't even have the same grip strength as men do. <laughs> that, oh, my man. friends, is how a condom works. It's science. Have you ever thought about making OnlyFans? Yes. Why have you thought so and why haven't you? Easy money, man. We all f for free. Why not f for some money? <laughs> have you guys ever thought about making an OnlyFans yourself? So many times. <laughs> I'm an EMT, so I've been broke forever. And so OnlyFans, I'm like, oh, it looks good. Someone's hey, shout out to EMT, though. That's a hard job, bro. Don't pay me a hundred bucks just free, free, for a picture. Right sure. Hell yeah. Have you ever thought about making an OnlyFans? Yes. You have? A hundred percent. Why? <laughs> because I feel like there are ways to do it that could be safe, but I'm also 30 and I know what the ramifications are. Yeah, there do happen to be a few... That's crazy, bro. I almost bet you if you if you went and approached most women, they would say, yeah, I've thought about it. That's, to me, that's a mind virus, bro. Stupid. That a lot of these women have actually thought about this and considered doing it? Like, are you kidding me? Showing your butthole in line for four ninety nine? <laughs> How about this, chat? How about this? How about this? Ladies, if you do ever have an OnlyFans, the cost of the first date is one month subscription of your OnlyFans. How about that? <laughs> so if it's four ninety nine, we're going out for ice cream. You get a single scoop. <laughs> you get one scoop. No sprinkles, no fudge, no nothing. Um I think it's bad that it's so normalized now. Like a lot of these women thinks it's it's just so normal. Like yeah, getting on OnlyFans and showing your balloon knot online and your tuna tunnel, your gut locker, your scrambled eggs between your legs. Like showing all this is like totally okay. And it's like, bro, this is not okay. Um, the fact that women even think that's okay and it's a fast form of money to me is just awful. It just shows how how degenerate we've become, man. You can put that clip on his ear. Move. You seriously not feel that? <laughs> How could you not feel that, bro? <laughs> oh, let's jump into the Reddit and see what we got. See if you guys are posting in the Reddit. So, not any new posts in the Reddit. I've reacted to most of these, so we'll jump into... Um, I've got some clips from Twitter that I think you guys would get a kick out of. I swear, if I could go back in time and tell the woman that stood up for our right to work... <laughs> yeah. I would. <laughs> it's not fun when you have to do it yourself, man. It's really not that fun. Um, this is women really just be living life on easy mode. What's the best thing about being a girl in Vegas? Getting whatever the f I want. I was thinking that too. Yeah, free dinners, free money to gamble, free everything. Free drinks. She's a runner, she's a track star. Yeah, free drinks, everything's free. And all you have to do is look hot. And maybe blow a guy, but okay, I... Okay, well... <laughs> if you're not blowing a guy in Vegas for something, then you don't have ambition. Well, honestly... You, you don't have ambition. Yikes, bro. I think the work ethic we have is like really good. Yeah. Like we deserve As you're sitting in a hot tub doing nothing. I think we have great work ethic. Putting a camera on yourself, talking like this, I don't see the work ethic. I really don't. We deserve to have all this free stuff. We deserve to get free drinks and free dinners and get hit on by these guys because we worked so hard for that. Yeah. Like, Didn't you someone in a high roller it's room? It's nice. Oh yes. To blow guys in Vegas. Exactly. That's the best. Wow, bro. She's a runner, she's a track star. Crazy work. Imagine. 
guys being like, it's just so easy to just get whatever you want. No, it's not. You have to work so hard for everything, bro. But I remember putting in like 50, 60 hour weeks and barely making a few grand a month, bro. I put in so much work. I've done so much unpaid labor too. One guy in particular, after I was like complimented by tons of other guys. <laughs> so funny. This one guy called me gorgeous. <laughs> and then maybe a minute later, my mom goes, oh my God, those other two guys were just looking at you. And I was like, mom, it's okay. And she was like, they called you mommy. And I was like, yeah, mom, that's something that people say. It's fine. But I guess I didn't hear them, so my mom told me about it. But there was this one guy in particular who was like wanting to buy me drinks and he was like, <laughs> like following me around everywhere because <laughs> I like to like go to different machines. He couldn't stop hugging me. <laughs> he even gave me $20 <laughs> for my machine. Like, um, it's fine. At first I thought it was like friendly, it was fine. Okay, cool. But then he started saying things like, I like you a lot <laughs> and like looking at me like that. I'm just like, <laughs> like oh my God. One guy in particular. Bro, I love it. The cap is so. About the cap. There's no way that dudes were out and about swooning over you, bruv. I don't know, Chad, is that y'all's type? Personally, I just, I don't see it, man. Yeah, what's more hurtful if your ex Ugh. starts dating someone who looks exactly like you or like completely different? I think if they look like me, it'd be more hurtful. But no, it'd be an ego boost. I'd be like, yeah, I put them on. Completely different. Then in my head, I'd be like. Mm. I'd be insecure. I'd be like, was I never his type? Yeah. Because then if they're dating somebody who looks nothing like you, you could be like, he doesn't even know what he wants. If I was dating a guy, I'd rather him cheat on me with a guy. Then I'd be like, well, there's nothing I could have like oh. provided. That's what? so funny beginning an argument if your boyfriend cheats with a girl. You're like, could it have just been a guy? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you just love men? <laughs> like you, if you have a girlfriend, would you rather her cheat on you? Well, the problem with the guy is, like, if she hooks oh, up with he, another girl, I'm you'd like... You'd be like, oh, nice. No, I'd be like, let me film it. <laughs> wow. This could lead to <laughs> Let me film it. <laughs> Bro, here's a hack right here. Let me put you guys on game. Anytime you get with a girl and you're all in the talking stages, I call it kool aiding You guys are getting to know each other. Let's say you've already hooked up. You've been physical with each other. Always tell a girl she's not your type. Like, ah, you're not really my type. Ooh, that insecurity will will rot in their brain. And then later on, when you end things, because more than likely, if you're telling her you, she's not your type, then more than likely, you know, she's not. But it'll do two things. Number one, she'll always crave your validation. And number two, she will try extra hard to be your type. Dude, it's great. I used it multiple times in college. I'd always be like, I mean, you're great and all. Like, we're having a lot of fun, but you're just not my type. And, it, dude, it ate girls alive. Just tell them that... You, that they're not your type. Like, yeah, you're just not my type. Uh, the psychological warfare, bro, <laughs> it works, bro. It works. Why are men expected to act like a husband in a boyfriend stage, but you don't feel as though you need to act like a wife in a girlfriend stage until mm. somebody chooses to make you a wife? Preach. Preach, preach, preach. She is preaching. Makes sense. If you never displayed qualities of being a wife, why would anybody want to make you one? Hey, facts. Yes. Well, and I always say this. you got to have the prerequisites to get the job, right? If you don't have the prerequisites to get the job of being a wife, first of all, you got to be a girlfriend. Then you got to be a fiance. And then you get to be a wife. But if you can't even display the prerequisite skills to get that job, then why would a guy want to wife you? It's as simple as that. You ain't got to wait till no man decide to marry you to have no baby. The, the creator gave you the power to have a baby whenever you want. If you want to have one at 19, have one at 19. You want to have one at 25, have one at 25. You want to have one at 32, have one at 32. Just as long as you make sure you have a community of Oh yeah, I've reacted to this clip already. Community of women. This is what we call the sister wives. <laughs> Go get you a bunch of friends that y'all want to live together and then y'all want to have babies and a house and, you know, you got your sister wives and your brother husbands. I think we're going to see a big rise in this. Chat, let me know if you agree. I think we're going to see a big rise in women moving in with their friends because they can't, number one, they can't get a man and number two, they can't afford to live alone. So more and more women are going to start living with their friends or living with their moms. That's when you become a daughter wife. We see it all the time daughters moving in with their moms to become daughter wives and then they split bills like well you got the internet and you got this and they end up almost marrying each other and then they have kids and they raise the kids and they have dogs and they have cats and they become so rooted in that lifestyle that they really can't go out and get a man and if they do get a man he's gonna he's gonna come back imagine being a dude dating a chick and coming back to her crib and her mom is there <laughs> you're in your like later 20s and you're like wait 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 
you live with your mom? Like, you live with your mama? I'm sorry, but that's that's a little weird. I'm gonna keep it a buck. This is weird. You live with like chat. Let me know. Is that a red flag for you if you go over to a girl's house and she's living with her mom? And she's like, let's say she's 27 to 29, 27 to 30, living with her mom, bro. No, it's just like with us. But that's why, as men, we realize that we can't live with our dads until we're older. We realize we got to go get out, and get on our own. But I told my mom at an early age, I was like, I will never move back in. I will be homeless before I move back in with my mom. It's just a certain thing. Maybe it's a pride thing. Maybe it's an ego thing. But at the end of the day, I know that it's all up. On, it's, it's all on me. And this is something you should remember. It's always on you. You can have a partner, you can have friends, but when the crap hits the fan, it's really up to you. And when you go to sleep at night, it's just you in your head. It's just you. Everything that you need to rely on is within. Rely on yourself. As long as you rely on yourself, you'll be good. Don't rely on other people to do things for you in your life because everybody's looking out for themselves. We live in a very narcissistic, egotistic community just in the U.S. in general. People aren't very selfless. A lot of people are selfish. That's why the dating market is so bad right now because everybody's just, they get into relationships and they think, what can I get from them? Instead of what can I give them? What can we build together? We lose this sense of community and relationships and that's why people aren't getting in relationships. More and more people are single. We're seeing sister wives, daughter wives, and things like that. We've just really lost our way. It sucks, but it is what it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time today? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the two ebooks, The Four Pillars of Personality and The Four Steps to Style that make you irresistible to women and respected by men. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.